I wanted like an invoker type hero. Um, mm. That's probably one of the ones that stands out to me. I mean, put Miracle on one of his classic heroes and something that's going to scale to like him is a bit vulnerable to those ganks potentially. But I mean, you got Jewel into Sunstrike, Telekinesis as well as a potential setup. To me, they want something with some some damage output. Troll Warlord makes wow. his debut though in DAC Europe. Ooh, Troll Warlord plus Lone Druid. That sounds nasty. Ugh. Rotation from GH and Kuro. Is Miracle going to eat its way through these trees to get the surprise initiation? Pops out, gets the axes on the mid one. They kind of need a bash here to ensure this kill, or maybe they don't. Just the right clicks and the supports will do it. But Miracle is going to be caught underneath this tier one tower. The last tower shot to finish him off. The CM. We can catch Liquid off guard here, thinking that they're safe from further rotations. So they're going to run into GH first. GH has already popped the smoke, sees the rotation now. He's going to be caught immediately. Now, Secret not immediately turning for two. Pylite died a little bit slow there on the Frostbite. is not going to be able to catch Montu on his way back, but that's okay. They Interestingly, Lifestealer infesting in is going to scout out this lane, see what's happening there. Goes in with an ensnare, MP. Going to be able to press the attack, but here comes the chain. The duel on the mid one. Mid one is dropping faster than Mind Control. They will manage to pick up that victory and get the Shallow Grave on the Mind Control. So MP, he's going to be stuck. It's bursted down. A big hit from GH with the Fade Bolt. Finishes him off, and now Pylai Die going to be chased down underneath the tower by this bear. He stops the bear up for a moment with a Frostbite, but he's still going to be caught in the end. Three down from Secret. Nice turn from Liquid. With Battle Trance, they kill this very fast. Yeah, they've got the Ars Armor on the troll to slow down those Roshan hits. Less bashes means more right-clicking time for Miracle. And mid one, we've already said he has to go in big in general in this game, but he has to go in real big right now if he wants to be able to stop this Roshan. He already puts out the Veil, starts going on to Machu, but there's the duel. Mid one in trouble, has no saving grace. Secret, they come in too late. They may just have to give up Roshan now. Kezu picks up the Invis, but a kind of worth laid down. And is being pinged out, and this life still may just die here. Oh, he's thinking, I've got a little bit of farming time, but Liquid are too fast. They catch him. They're even going to be able to kill him by the dual time. So we get now waiting on the life stealer. They pick him up with the smoked up uh, Slardar, and they're going to come in already behind. Prepped, though. They're going to be able to see Kuro, and that's going to be an excellent first pick, but the press of the attack is already removed, and Kuro manages to get the Shallow Grave off on himself. And now Liquid, well, maybe Miracle? No, he pops the Battle Trance, turns and fights MP. MP can't actually fight that one out anymore. Mid one, he's going to be caught inside the Entangle, unable to get out. Miracle hit by the Frostbite, but again, that's still an eight just heroes, so yeah. they can't finish him off. They can't get that one pick off that would give them those numbers advantage. Two seconds after that fight ended, we wore off. So everyone had plus 16 to 18 armor on the liquid side through the weave. That was the worst possible time to try to get kills with Slider Lifesteal. The Ember did some good magic damage, but there was no other source of damage. And 17 minutes, liquid on the high ground. Oh boy. Stun out instantly, double blinked on into Kezu. Mind control gets control, but there's still the miracle damage. They'll get the win. Trading creeps back and forth, the Helma Dominator and the Chen. You get a Frostbite onto the Spirit Bear, trying to deal with that Sieging Hero. Might just be able to kill it and get that 300 gold. Press the attack onto the Spirit Bear, not going to be enough to save it. Matsu takes a chunk of damage in return. Oh, nice turn around, what a crush! G8 showing Kezu how it's done, oh. gets a double crush out. And now Secret, it's just MP and mid wand. They have buybacks, but who the hell wants to use it this early on into the game? 18 minutes, mind control going to be slowed down now. Press the attack, removed one disabled, but a rope moved the other. But they have to deal with Miracle. He's dealing with the melee raxes and is still getting out. Another crush out from GH God with a huge nuke over the top. Legion Commander finished one off, MP drops low, Miracle still has his Aegis, they're putting everything they have to finish him off, but they can't quite do it. He bounces back once again, gets a little bit more chip damage on the range raxes, but Kuro says, we're done guys, a successful push. And weave. But what, what else do they have? Like, they can't just let Miracle beat on, uh, beat on these buildings with Battle Trance the whole entire time. Attempting to initiate now as the weave starts going down, they're going to mind control. He still has some more armor, plus the solar crest, the toss back by Kezu, and they get the AoE control. Miracle, now they manage to get a duel on MP. Miracle help mind control claim that kill, as well as Puppy up next. The buybacks start flowing in, but they haven't managed to kill any of the backline heroes. Mid one's going for Matu, but Puppy's already called it. GG. Secret. You just get demolished in game one. Liquid look incredibly strong. That was such a good draft execution from Liquid. Like, 